Three Benefits of Going Keto Going on a keto diet is one of the best ways to lose weight and take charge of your health. Because of how the keto diet forces your body to use fat for fuel instead of glucose, it is incredibly beneficial to your health. In this tutorial, I'm going to give you the three top benefits of going keto. Let's get started. 1. Weight Loss No doubt, if you've heard of the keto diet, then you know that it is a great way to lose weight. Studies show that the keto diet is one of the most effective diets for maintaining weight loss if you stick to it, especially at the beginning. The keto diet leads to weight loss because it forces you to burn ketones, not glucose. When you restrict your carbohydrate intake, your body is forced to use fat as your fuel. This means that you burn off fat for energy, allowing you to lose weight more easily. That is why the keto diet is one of the best diets for weight loss. However, you have to stick to the keto diet pretty seriously if you want to lose weight. You can't seesaw back and forth between your diet if you want to see any lasting results. 2. Reduces blood sugars and insulin levels. The keto diet is especially helpful for those with diabetes or prediabetes. Your body naturally runs off glucose which requires insulin as a transporter. When you run off the ketones, though, you have reduced blood sugars and insulin levels because they don't require insulin like glucose. In fact, studies show that people with diabetes who take on a low-carb diet typically reduce their insulin dosage by about 50%. Even those with type 2 diabetes show a reduction in their glucose-lowering medication after going on a low-carb diet. 3. Reduces inflammation. Inflammation is your body's response to help you heal and fight against infection. Although inflammation is good when needed, chronic inflammation is painful and causes many negative side effects. Pain, joint stiffness, swelling, and fatigue are just a few examples of chronic inflammation symptoms. When you are in a regular state of ketosis, your body produces ketones. Ketones are a natural anti-inflammatory chemical. As a result, the ketones reduce inflammation in your body. More than this, the food that you eat while on a keto diet tends to be anti-inflammatory as well. Eggs, olive oil, and avocados are all anti-inflammatory, and you will probably eat a lot of them on a keto diet. Sugar and grains, on the other hand, promote inflammation and are restricted on the keto diet. Final thoughts. Going keto is a great way to take advantage of your health and make the most of your life. You can expect to lose weight, experience a reduction in blood sugars and insulin levels, and experience a reduction in inflammation. Although these are not all of the keto diet benefits, they are some of the most important. Three best foods for keto diets. Keto diets are known for being high in fat and low in carbohydrates. This means that you can eat steak and bacon while sticking to your diet. Beyond the regular fatty foods like meat and poultry, there are three individual foods that you want to buy if you're going to start a keto diet. These foods will help bust your cravings for carbohydrates and can be used in a variety of ways. Without further ado, I'm going to tell you about the three best foods for keto diets. 1. Cauliflower Easily one of the best foods to add to your keto diet is cauliflower. I know cauliflower is not the most exotic or exciting food, but you'll be wise to add it to your pantry if you're eating keto. Cauliflower can be eaten in various ways, some of which mimic favorite carbohydrates like rice or mashed potatoes. You can steam the cauliflower like broccoli and pour cheese over them, making them a deliciously cheesy vegetable side to add for dinner. You can even rice and mash the cauliflower. All you need to do is cut the cauliflower correctly and season it. Then you have keto-friendly rice or mashed potatoes. As a result, cauliflower is a great vegetable to add to your pantry since it can be a low-carbohydrate substitute for rice and mashed potatoes. Two cheese. Who doesn't like cheese? Cheese is a great way to add texture and flavor to anything that you're eating. You can eat cheese by itself or you can pour it over vegetables. All the while, they are low in carbs and high in fat. 
In fact, one ounce of cheddar cheese offers only one gram of carbs, but 6.5 grams of protein and a lot of calcium. Although cheese is high in saturated fats, no studies show that it increases heart disease risk. Additionally, cheese contains linoleic acid, which is linked to fat loss and body composition improvements. Luckily, there are a variety of cheeses that you can choose from when you're on a keto diet. Here's a list of some of the keto cheeses to eat. Blue cheese, brie, cheddar, Colby Jack, cottage cheese, cream cheese, feta, goat cheese, Havarti, mascarpone, mozzarella, munster, parmesan, pepper jack, provolone, string cheese, and swiss. 3. Avocado One of the best foods to have in your keto arsenal is the avocado. Avocados are very healthy and only contain about 9 grams of carbs per half an avocado. However, Seven of these grams are fiber, so they only have a net carb count of 2 grams. At the same time, avocados offer many vitamins and minerals that are necessary for a functioning body. They also have high amount of potassium, which is helpful for a beginner keto follower. Beyond the general health benefits of avocados, they also can be used in a variety of ways. Pair them with seasoning and seeds for a nice savory taste. You can also add them to dessert recipes for a vegan keto option. They create a nice, rich texture that is to die for. Final thoughts? Whether you're just starting out with a keto diet or have been a keto dieter for a long time, add cauliflower, cheese, and avocado to your next grocery list. All these foods are keto-friendly and will leave you feeling full and satisfied. Three Easy Ways to Start Eating Keto Today The worst part of any diet is just starting. It's hard to get in a routine and adjust to the new eating habits. Unlike most diets, the keto diet is much easier to start. It keeps you feeling full longer and you don't have to cut out many of the foods you love. In this tutorial, I'm going to tell you three easy ways to start eating keto today. You can incorporate these keto ideas into your routine to eat fewer carbs and kickstart your diet. Let's get started. 1. Cut out carbohydrates. First things first, get rid of the foods that you're not allowed to eat. Keeping them in your pantry may be a temptation in a couple of days. Remove the temptation by throwing them out completely. Get rid of grains like wheat, corn, and rice. Sugar like honey or maple syrup. Fruit like bananas and apples and tubers like potatoes and yams. If containers have been opened, then throw them away. If any of your no-no foods are not opened yet, donate them to a pantry or shelter so they don't go to waste. Replace any food you threw out with low-carb foods like meats, greens, nuts, and dairy. As for fruits, look for berries since they're low-carb but still delicious. If you need help finding out what foods you can eat, look online. There are countless extensive lists of keto-friendly foods to keep in your pantry. 2. Find a Keto Recipe Book One of the best parts about the keto diet is that you don't get rid of most of the foods you enjoy eating. You still eat steak, butter, and a dessert on occasion. Try going keto by testing out a keto recipe book you'll find that many of these recipes are similar to those you'll find at a restaurant. All the while, you avoid processed foods and additional carbohydrates. You might need to go to the store to find certain ingredients, but it will be worth it. You'll shed pounds while eating rich and decadent food. Not to mention, cooking can become a relaxing hobby. 3. Try Bulletproof Coffee Even though the keto diet is pretty easy to adjust to, you might be missing your chip breaks or candy snacks. To bust through these habits, try making bulletproof coffee. Bulletproof coffee is when you add coconut oil and butter to black coffee. This drink will keep your cravings at bay while keeping you full and satisfied. Additionally, bulletproof coffee is a great way to start your day and awaken your senses. Most people like to put their butter, coconut oil, and coffee in a blender for preparation. 
This will create a much richer texture that is more enjoyable and delicious to the taste. Final thoughts. Going keto isn't that hard. It simply begins by throwing out foods that you can't eat. From there, buy a fun and exciting keto recipe book and use bulletproof coffee to bust any cravings. No counting calories, no extensive restrictions, just good old-fashioned meals that keep you feeling full longer. Three Keto Myths to Stop Believing Today Keto diets have been the target of a lot of praise and criticism. As a result, there are many misconceptions and myths about the diet that may be holding you back from experiencing the full benefits of going keto. In this tutorial, I'm going to tell you three keto myths to stop believing today. Let's get started. Myth number one, you can keep the weight off while going on and off keto. The keto diet has boomed in such popularity that people often jump on board without doing any research. As a result, they only eat keto occasionally and eat a regular diet most of the time. This causes them to seesaw back and forth on their diet. When they do this, they don't experience all of the keto's benefits and rarely lose a lot of weight. Naturally, these people wonder why they aren't keeping the weight off and blame it on the keto diet. To experience the benefits of the keto diet, you have to commit to sticking to the diet. If you go on and off keto, you will experience none of the benefits. You can only have sustained ketosis by eating a keto diet every day. Myth number two. Everyone needs the same amount of carbs. When most people start with their keto diet, they determine their carbohydrate intake based on recommendations they found online. Typically, those on a keto diet only consume 20 to 50 grams of carbs a day. Those just starting often eat closer to 20 grams to kickstart their body into ketosis. Although you need to restrict your carbs to be on a keto diet, the exact number of grams you consume will depend on your body and special factors. For example, if you have a high physical activity level, you'll need to consume more carbohydrates than someone who lives a sedentary lifestyle. Additionally, some people have genetic issues that cause them to struggle using fat for energy. These people also need to consume higher carbohydrates than others. Instead of constricting your carbohydrate intake based on something you read online, limit them in a way so that way your body is enhanced. This means that you may need to consume more or less carbohydrates than what other people recommend. Myth number three, you can eat as much bacon and butter as you want. Everyone knows that keto diets are based on fat. This means that you can eat bacon, steak, and butter while still remaining on this diet. However, you should not be frying up pounds and pounds of bacon every single day. You can't just eat any fat you want and expect to live a healthy lifestyle. The best way to remain healthy while eating a high-fat diet is to limit saturated fats. Foods like bacon and sausage are high in saturated fats, which means you should limit them. Instead, opt for heart-healthy unsaturated fats. Foods like avocados and olive oil are great places to get unsaturated fats. These foods are also healthy and tasty but they are better for your overall health. Additionally, do not avoid vegetables and fruits completely. Even though vegetables and fruits are high in carbohydrates, you need them for vitamins, antioxidants, and fiber. Look for vegetables and fruits like zucchini, peppers, and berries that are great for your body, but lower in carbohydrates. Final thoughts. Now that you know the three biggest misconceptions to stop believing about a keto diet, you can start your keto diet with knowledge and confidence. Four reasons to go keto now. Many people put off starting their new diet, thinking it'll be hard and challenging. Starting next Monday becomes a mantra for many, but Monday rolls around and nothing has changed. Stop with this endless cycle of empty promises by going keto today. It is much easier than you think and will benefit your body immediately. In this tutorial, I'm going to tell you four reasons to go keto now. One, replace fuel source. On a regular diet, most energy sources come from glucose, not ketones. 
glucose uses insulin as a transport structure and passes the blood-brain barrier. Because of the insulin transport structure, it can make it difficult for certain people to get effective fuel while fueling their bodies on glucose. When you go on a keto diet, however, you use ketones as your energy source. Ketones do not use insulin as a transport structure, but they pass the blood-brain barrier. This allows all of the body to be fueled without excessive insulin release. 2. Helps maintain diabetes and prediabetes. Diabetes and prediabetes are a leading health issue in the world. Similar to diabetics, prediabetics have elevated blood sugar levels, but the levels are not high enough to be diagnosed as diabetic. A keto diet reduces insulin resistance and promotes improved blood glucose control. This means that people with diabetes and prediabetes will have fewer complications related to eye issues, foot problems, kidney disease, neuropathy, and heart disease. The reason that keto diets are great for diabetics and prediabetics is because of their fuel source. If you eat foods with more fat than carbohydrates, ketones become your fuel source, not glucose. Since ketones don't use insulin as a transport structure, you can still have an ample fuel source. All the while, your blood sugar levels are allowed to level more naturally. 3. Keeps you feeling full. Fats take much longer to digest than carbs. As a result, you feel full longer when you're on a keto diet. You can also eat bigger portions since you'll eat less throughout the day as a whole. Not to mention, keto diets are filled with yummy foods like bacon and avocados that are enjoyable to eat and leave you feeling satisfied. When you switch to a keto diet, you don't have to worry about feeling hungry or starving yourself as a result. The fact that you will stay full is a great reason to start your keto diet today. 4. Decreases inflammation. A little bit of inflammation is good. It acts as a natural defense mechanism for your body's immune system. However, if your body is constantly inflamed, it can become a chronic condition that causes more harm than good. Glucose and insulin are both linked to increased inflammatory response. This means that diets higher in glucose resulting in greater insulin cause an increased inflammatory response. When you switch to a keto diet, your body experiences less inflammation. This allows the immune system to return to a normal level so that its resources can address actual immune threats. Since your immune system can target actual threats, your immunity increases. Key takeaways. Stop putting off going on your keto diet. Switching to a keto diet will help you replace your fuel source, keep you feeling fuller longer, and decrease inflammation. Diabetics and prediabetics will especially benefit from a keto diet since it does not require insulin as a transporter. So what are you waiting for? Start your keto diet now. 5 Foods to Avoid on Keto Eating keto is about restricting your carb intake, not your calories. When you do this, your body enters into ketosis and allows you to use fat for fuel instead of glucose. For you to reach ketosis, there are certain foods you need to avoid. You avoid these foods because they are high in carbohydrates. If you are new to the keto diet though, it can be challenging to know what foods you can and can't eat. In this tutorial, I'm going to tell you about the top 5 foods to avoid when you are on keto. Let's get started. 1. Bread If you want to cut your carbs, you need to avoid bread. Bread has some of the highest carbohydrate levels, and they don't offer a lot of vitamins or minerals either. Because of this, bread is just an empty source of carbs. Of course, you can look for low-carb bread options if you're someone who can't live without bread. Just be sure to eat it in moderation. 2. Bananas Most fruits are high in carbohydrates, meaning they're not suitable for the keto diet. Of the fruits, the banana is probably the least keto-friendly option that you can choose. Even though bananas are delicious, you should avoid them if you're on a keto diet. They're high in sugar and carbs and will inhibit your ketosis results. No matter if you eat the banana raw or blended in a smoothie, you will consume too many carbohydrates. 3. Potatoes 
Anybody who knows anything about the keto diet knows that you have to restrict potatoes. Potatoes are one of the top vegetables known for their amount of carbohydrates. Whether it's a mashed potato or french fries, avoid potatoes if you're on a keto diet. It is nearly impossible to maintain your daily carb intake while eating potatoes regularly. 4. Legumes Legumes are things like beans and peas. Although they are high in protein, they are also high in carbs. This means you should avoid them if you're on a keto diet. Luckily, most keto dieters get ample protein, so you aren't missing much other than carbohydrates by cutting legumes out of your diet. 5. Breaded Meats One of the best parts of a keto diet is that you can still eat meats. However, eating meat should be taken with caution since some are battered and fried. Avoid breaded meats. This breading will add carbohydrates to your daily intake. Instead, look for meats without any type of breading. This is the best way to ensure you get your protein and fat content without the added carbohydrates. Final thoughts. A keto diet means you need to cut out excessive carbohydrates from your daily intake. Bread, bananas, potatoes, legumes, and breaded meats are the top five foods to make sure you avoid when you are on a keto diet. These foods will inhibit your ketosis, causing you to reach your goals slower. An easy way to lose weight without thinking about it. One of the most difficult parts of losing weight is finding motivation and convincing yourself that you can do it. Many people overthink their diet, causing them to become overwhelmed and give up. This is especially true if you're hungry on your diet, forcing you to constantly be reminded of it. The only way to experience lasting results is to incorporate your diet into your everyday life. This means that you should diet without thinking about it. The keto diet is one of the best ways to lose weight without thinking about it because you feel full and happy the entire time. Here's how. The keto diet. The keto diet is relatively simple to understand. Limit your carbohydrate intake so you can kickstart ketosis. Ketosis is when your body runs on fat, not glucose. You can only run on fat by limiting the number of carbohydrates in your system. Unlike other diets that require you to count calories meticulously, the keto diet only requires you to watch your carb intake. This means that you can eat a lot of the yummy foods you already love and enjoy. Steak, bacon, and butter are all still allowed in moderation. What makes the keto diet different from other diets is that you only constrict your carbohydrate intake. This means that you reduce the number of grains, sugar, fruit, and legumes that you eat regularly. Most people on a keto diet only eat between 20 and 50 grams of carbohydrates a day, roughly three pieces of bread. What to eat? When you cut these foods out of your diet, you replace them with fat-heavy foods like meat, avocados, and nuts. These foods will let you feel full longer while still helping you lose weight in the process. Aim for foods that are high in protein and fat but low in carbs. The following is a list of foods to eat when on a keto diet. Meat Fatty fish Eggs Butter and cream Cheese Nuts and seeds Healthy oils Avocados Low-carb veggies how to lose weight without thinking about it. You might be wondering, how does this help me lose weight without thinking about it? It is true that the keto diet is more difficult to sustain, but once you get the hang of it, you can lose weight without thinking about it. If you train your mind to detect foods high in carbohydrates, you can easily avoid the foods you need to while remaining full and satisfied. By this, I mean that you start picking foods low in carbs without ever thinking about it. By restricting your carbohydrate intake, you can eat until you're satisfied while still losing weight. You don't have to feel hungry or constantly be reminded that you are dieting to enjoy weight loss on the keto diet. Final thoughts. Many diets are hard to get the hang of and leave you feeling hungry, but the keto diet doesn't have to be one of them. By learning what foods you can and can't eat, you can enjoy every one of your meals until you are satisfied while still losing weight. This allows you to lose weight without thinking about it or even realizing that you're dieting.
keto, a safe alternative to fasting. Today, many health fads promise to help you lose weight but are dangerous for your health and well-being. One fad that has become increasingly popular but can be harmful to your body is extreme fasting. Though some fasting forms are indeed helpful and healthy, extreme fasting can lead to muscle loss, slower metabolism, fainting, and permanent organ damage. These side effects show extreme fasting dangers and should warn anyone from trying extreme fasting for weight loss. This tutorial will tell you about the dangers of extreme fasting and a diet technique to replace it. Let's dig right in. What is fasting? Fasting is when you do not eat or drink for a certain amount of time. You can fast from specific foods or you can fast against all foods. Short periods of fasting are very helpful for your metabolism and health. Intermittent fasting is when you only eat for 8 hours a day and fast for the other 16 hours. This fasting technique is safe and helpful for dropping weight fast and keeping it off. Extreme Fasting Many people, however, fast for long periods of time. Some even go as far as to fast for days or weeks on end. This fasting practice is known as extreme fasting. This is extremely dangerous for your health and should be avoided at all costs. It causes you to lose muscle weight, which causes a slower metabolism. A slower metabolism is the opposite of what you want when you try to lose weight. It can also cause other effects, such as nausea, dizziness, and more permanent results like organ damage. Extreme fasting doesn't even give you lasting weight loss results either. Most of the initial weight you lose will be water weight and muscle weight. This means you will gain that weight back almost immediately after you start eating again. With this in mind, extreme fasting is an unsafe and ineffective diet option. It can harm your health and it does not help you keep the weight off. What is keto? Instead of fasting for unhealthy amounts of time, you should try a keto diet. A keto diet is characterized by low carbohydrate intake and high fat intake. Those on a keto diet only consume between 20 to 50 grams of carbohydrates a day. Other than limiting your carbohydrate intake, the keto diet doesn't require anything else from you. You can still eat steak and butter. This allows you to feel full and satisfied, knowing that you still eat until you are content. Although some people don't like cutting out carbs, it will help you drop weight in a fast way. This is because the keto diet kickstarts ketosis, which is a metabolic process where your body runs on fat, not glucose. This allows you to lose weight quickly and healthily. Final Thoughts Instead of opting for a crazy fast that can leave you feeling sick, try a keto diet. The keto diet will help you see results fast while remaining full and satisfied. It also has fewer negative side effects, allowing you to remain healthy and happy throughout your entire weight loss journey. Keto and Intermittent Fasting Fast and Easy Results Sticking to your diet can be challenging and disheartening if you don't see any results. Unfortunately, most diets take a while to show any lasting changes in your body. This means that you need to have long-sighted determination to stick to the diet and keep working. One way to make the process a bit easier is to pick a diet with fast results. The keto diet and intermittent fasting are two ways to see results quickly, especially if you put them together you can expect to see lasting changes in a shorter amount of time. In this tutorial, I will give you an overview of the keto diet, intermittent fasting, and how you can use them together. Let's get started. What is the keto diet? The keto diet is a diet where you restrict your carbohydrate intake and replace the carbs with fat and protein. People on the keto diet only eat between 20 and 50 grams of carbohydrates a day. The keto diet is a great way to shed pounds fast because it forces your body into ketosis. Ketosis is a metabolic process where your body runs on fat, not glucose. This allows you to shed a lot of pounds in a short period of time. Other than watching your carbohydrate intake, you don't have to do much to stick to your keto diet. You can still eat a lot of yummy foods that you already love. 
Not only that, but the foods will keep you full longer, meaning that you don't feel hungry even though you're dieting. What is intermittent fasting? Now let's look at intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting simply means constricting the number of hours you eat a day. Most people only eat between the hours of 12 p.m. and 8 p.m. The other 16 hours are spent fasting. Intermittent fasting is a great way to lose weight fast because it gives your body a chance to burn calories. If you restrict the number of hours you eat, you naturally eat less and your body actually has a chance to digest and burn what you ate. Depending on your day, you can adjust your eating hours to your schedule. For example, if you work night shifts, then you push your 8-hour eating slot later in the day. It doesn't really matter when you eat, just that you eat for about 8 hours a day. Though intermittent fasting may take a couple of days to get used to, your body will quickly adjust to your new eating schedule. As a result, you stop feeling hungry during your fasting hours. Get fast results with keto and intermittent fasting. Pairing a keto diet with intermittent fasting is a great way to shed pounds fast. On the other hand, your body goes into ketosis because of the keto diet, while intermittent fasting allows your body to burn the calories throughout the day. Combine the two dieting techniques by only eating a low-carb diet for 8 hours a day. Spend the other 16 hours fasting. With this technique, you can burn a lot of calories in a shorter amount of time. This lets you drop weight fast. It's as simple as that. Recap Even though it can be easy to get disheartened about your diet when you don't see results, it is important to push through and keep trying anyway. Pairing the keto diet with intermittent fasting, however, is a great way to see results fast. Although they won't transform your body immediately, using the two techniques together is a great way to see fast results. Ketosis Made Easy If you're thinking about starting a keto diet, then you've probably heard a lot of hoopla about ketosis. Ketosis is one of the biggest benefits of the keto diet. But very few people take the time to explain what it is or why it matters. In this tutorial, I'm going to give you an easy rundown of ketosis. Let's get started. What is ketosis? Ketosis is a metabolic process. It is your body's natural process of burning fat for fuel. Ketosis turns on when your body doesn't have enough carbohydrates to burn energy from glucose. Ketosis occurs when there are a lot of ketones in your blood. Ketones can break through the brain blood barrier, but they don't require insulin as a transporter like glucose. How do I reach ketosis? You can only reach ketosis by restricting your carb intake. You need to eat less than 50 grams of carbohydrates a day for about 3 to 4 days before ketosis actually kicks in for most healthy people. After that, you must maintain your low carbohydrate intake to sustain your ketosis. Your exact body and needs will determine how many carbohydrates you're allowed to consume. For instance, some people will only be allowed to eat around 20 carbohydrates a day, while others will be able to eat around 40. Those with a more active lifestyle tend to eat more carbs. What matters most is that you do what's best for your body to safely and effectively kickstart your ketosis. You will restrict your carb intake by, you probably guessed it, cutting out foods that are high in carbohydrates. Bread, fruit, tubers, and legumes are some of the top food groups you must cut out to reach ketosis. What should I expect from ketosis? Ketosis has both positive and negative side effects. For most people, the positive side effects outweigh the negative by a long shot. Most studies show that ketosis is great for weight loss since it burns fat instead of glucose. Other studies show that it helps reduce the risk of heart disease. Those with diabetes or prediabetes will especially benefit from a keto diet. Due to ketosis, they can burn fuel through ketones instead of glucose, which requires insulin. At the same time, there are some drawbacks to going into ketosis. For example, most people feel bad the first week of their ketosis. This is often called the keto flu, although there is no official medical condition. The following are possible side effects of ketosis. 
headache, fatigue, brain fog, irritability, trouble sleeping, constipation, nausea, dizziness, sugar cravings, cramps, sore muscles. Final thoughts. To recap, ketosis is your body's natural response for burning fuel if there are not enough carbohydrates in your system. The only way to reach ketosis is to restrict your carbohydrate intake. If you do this and reach ketosis, you can expect to lose weight, but there could be some negative side effects to look out for as well. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.